All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, we're here to talk about how I've been dominating with 25 three-pointer on NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Now, I know a lot of you guys, when you saw my build video from a couple days ago, a lot of you <laughs> were very skeptical of the build because of 25 three-pointer, zero shooting upgraded on this, zero shooting badges, 25 mid, 25 three-pointer, 25 free throw. So, I'm here to show you today <laughs> what I've been doing with this. Now, keep in mind, this isn't fully maxed out by any means. If you're watching this in the future, a couple months later or something like that, just understand this is like literally with me at an 89 overall, 88 overall with a couple gold badges and maybe some bronzes here and there. But as you can see, this build can move. It can absolutely move, dribble, dunk, play defense, set screens, grab rebounds, all types of stuff like that. Literally the only thing the build can't do and very definitively can't do is shoot. But if you're the right player and you're built the right way as far as how you like to play the game and stuff like that, this build will be a walk in the park for you. I can promise you that. I mean, look at this. This build is so fun to play on. And I got to say, it might be credited for a lot of the reason that I've really, really been enjoying this game. This has to be one of my favorite 2K launches ever and has potential to be one of my favorite 2Ks ever just in general. We'll talk more about the gameplay review and all types of stuff like that in future videos. I'm here to just show you guys the build and how I've been playing with it in this video. But like I said, we will talk for sure another day about how much I have been loving this game and would recommend 100%. If you've been holding out, waiting to decide whether or not to buy 2K and you're waiting to see some good gameplay, some good build system, all types of stuff like that, an enjoyable, fun game that is looking like it's gonna be super fun to grind, well, <laughs> I can tell you, I am enjoying this 100% and I would definitely recommend to do so. As you can see, we got a little gameplay right here. This right here is so, so fun to play on and so fun probably to even watch too. And I gotta say, these intros are very fast, very simple. You can see the build player names and all types of stuff like that. It's enough time to be able to kind of review it. And if you're paying attention, boom, you get to see everything you need to see, essentially. You even get to see their win percentages and stuff like that, at least of your matchup. I think this is really cool. It's very quick, no BS, any of the stuff that you have to sit through. And, you know, it kind of takes away from the game if you have to sit there and watch for like 50 seconds. Now, this right here, bro, as you can see, this build can move, move, move. And as you can see, we will talk about in another video, the greening of the dunks and stuff like that and how to time the dunk meter. I got y'all with that. I have 100% figured it out. I promise you, as you can see with this build, this is exactly what I was telling you guys I was going to do with it. I was going to set screens, maybe be a little hybrid slasher on offense, etc., stuff like that. And then guard ball on defense. Now I can still guard bigs. I was playing 2v2 for like 25 games with Kitchen and we literally lost one game. It's been absolute cake to guard bigs with this build. And what's even more fun, like I said, is playing the two on 3v3, yet doing this, setting screens, being a pick and roller, being a hybrid slasher, and I have the takeovers, as you can see. The, yo, I gotta say, I was thinking it was gonna be all slash take all the way. <laughs> this, play this play take and glass take combo, you are going to see in this gameplay, is out of this world, bro. But anyway, you're gonna see Kitchen goes with the dunk right here. Now, I want to explain to you guys a little bit for maybe like a minute or so how that dunk meter is going to be working. You can still make earlies and lates if they're wide open. You are not going to make a contact dunk though if it's an early or late. And if you do, it's very rare. So I love what 2K is doing with this stuff, rewarding skilled slashing and stuff like that and actually putting even more of a factor into the skill gap when it comes to that. And on top of that, they have overhauled defense entirely. Defense is so fun to play. If you are someone who enjoyed 2K20, you are going to love this game. And it even has factors of like 17 in it that are still fun too. This is like a mashup of all the best 2Ks that I've ever played and they put it all into one and took the best traits from each. I am, I'm telling you, I promise you, this is one of the most fun launches I've ever had. So again, I'm coming out here on ISO defense, guarding ball through screens, whatever the case may be. On another topic too that I kind of want to deter from the video for, and I'm just going to talk to you guys real quick because this starts getting crazy toward the end of the video. But early on, I'm just going to talk a couple things that are on my mind. This is going to be one of the most balanced years of 2K too. And you can see I shoot, I shoot a late on the dunk right there, miss it. That's how it works pretty much. Now you can see I did actually get an animation right there, but either way, I want to get back to the topic. So I'm thinking this year might be one of the most balanced years ever in terms of the build system. It's really good in terms of the gameplay as well. I'm expecting that ISO pick and pop, pick and roll, all types of stuff like that is going to be super balanced and there's going to be a reason to do all of them and you're going to be rewarded for doing all of them properly. In a lot of our previous games, it's been super ISO meta or it's been super pick and roll meta, aka 2K21 next gen was ISO meta and then 2K21 current gen was super pick and roll meta. 
And then to throw pick and pop into that discussion, I'm expecting that that will still be very viable and good in this game as well. So pick and pop and ISO are both something that's going to happen just by default of good three pointer on bigs. It's going to be very simple for people to do that. However, if you're somebody who likes to run pick and roll and strictly pick and roll like myself, you really aren't going to struggle too hard while doing so. It's going to be super balanced and all this stuff is going to work perfectly fine. I mean, me and Kitchen have been going crazy with this stuff on the pick and roll duo as always too, man. But anyway, look at this. So I grab the board, boom, take it back out, come in with the ISO. And then obviously, you know, even if nothing's there, I can still kick back to my point guard. But if I can find something, boom, that's an easy bucket. I even build my takeover a little bit more. And when this double takeover does pop up, <laughs> it is some unbelievable stuff to watch, man. It is so fun playing on this build i never thought that i would run play take and glass take from launch like this and i was gonna i thought i was just gonna be running double slash take or slash and slash and glass maybe slash and lockdown or something like that long story short i end up going with this double, double take right here and boom you can see pop this look at this little like nutbag <laughs> dribble move right there cancel go with a speed boost like that and boom just like that contact dunk i mean you gotta love seeing stuff like this, man. It's so fun to play. And as you can see, I was a little geek and recording it right there. But I would show you guys a couple more clips of the gameplays. I had like three that I was debating on using. You saw a lot of those clips in the intro. I figured I'll just show the clips, show this gameplay, simple like that. But I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not hiding anything with this. I absolutely love this, love and adore this build, bro. It has been so fun to play on and I don't see any problems with it at all. So. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about as far as like, you know, maybe competitive or strategical things I have see the future on as my glass takeover and it's my primary and it's very hard sometimes on the Knights court to see where this is going because of this uh, gray like paint or key if you will so Just a just a quick little note. I want to just talk about that for close rebounds It's a little bit hard to see sometimes as you can see this is popping up right here But it's hard to see when you're like actually playing the game And if you're if you're focused on this part of the screen right here You have no clue that this is on the ground right here Anyway, back to the gameplay. What I'm getting at with this build is it can be a complete role player. You can be strictly a pick and roller and not even touch the ball on offense other than just dunks. And you can still function very well with this build. However, if you are someone who likes to have the ball in your hand, not the whole game and be depended on by your team to actually carry the carry the team for the whole game. Now, low key, you probably still could. And I'm going to test out myself <laughs> actually running with this on twos eventually and just try and iso and have a lockdown play with me as well it would be really good defense i'm planning that i would run with a build like pandas right here or my boy tonic from the pro M videos last last year long story short they're both gonna be six eight i'm gonna be pretty much using this build at the one on 2v2 occasionally and then sometimes i'm gonna be using it at the two and when i'm playing with kitchen i'm actually you know running as a pick and roller and i'm an undersized big where yes maybe sometimes i will struggle to guard a seven foot seven foot three type big clearly however i didn't have my steel upgraded all the way when i was playing 2v2 i feel like that could be a really saving grace thing when it comes to twos i only had like 65 steel and i'm six foot six with like you know i think i had 28 strength at the moment as well now i do want to mention one thing too that i learned while playing this i'm i'm finding that brick wall is lighting up on defense so and it was when i was back in it was when i was getting back down by a post score correct so Pretty much what I'm getting at. I think brick wall is low key moving truck still. <laughs> I don't know if that's factual, but I'm just seeing it pop up when people are trying to back me down in the post. So for anybody who's curious about strength and stuff like that or interior defense and how it ties into brick wall, pretty much I now see it's interior defense and that's what brick wall is also doing. So not only is brick wall an offensive screen setting badge, it's also for defense in my, in my opinion and in my like theory, so to say. That might be proven wrong, but either way, you guys can see this is so fun to play on, bro. I'm, it's ridiculous how I can just go from a true pick and roller and come out here and just run screens, run pick and rolls, dunk, rebound, etc. Then as I get the rebound, boom, bring it out and do my own thing. On top of the, all that, I want to let you guys know too, in the pick and roll game, I'm at the two. It's double guards most of the time, and they're just going to keep playing sides on everything and just keep double teaming Kitchen letting me slip, right? Now, the other thing too is, say that Kitchen, my point guard, wants to dot our corner. Like, they, he sees that somebody's going to drop as I'm rolling, and he wants to dot the corner and then hit my boy Panda in the corner, right? Now, the other thing is, <laughs> if the big who is on Panda wants to contest his shot, he's obviously going to have to step out to him. So even if Panda ends up taking a bad shot or ends up missing, I have a matchup of somebody at the two who is pretty much going to be six foot five, six foot six, maybe six foot seven and matched up with my height. And me personally, I would like to just think that I'm really good at rebounding 
and some people who are probably lined up at the two might not even have the rebound upgraded so as you can see what i'm talking about here they got their big in the corner panda is in the corner as well they have their like shooting guard small forward hybrid whatever the heck you want to call it the guy at the two he's on me and then their point guard is obviously on kitchen if they want to put the lock on kitchen the point guard on me so be it it's still two guards if they want to put the point guard on panda it, honestly that's probably the better move <laughs> but most people if you're playing in park aren't going to do that in stage i would assume that they might do that but low-key panda might be an easy cut as a six foot eight and six foot nine build and just absolutely dominate in terms of that if the point guard is trying to guard him either way as far as the flashy stuff goes for this gameplay it's pretty much over now kitchen's just going to go ahead and just take the rest of this game over and you know it's 18 points it's on game point if he gets a three-pointer it's over and as you can see it does <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at with all of this is this build can do everything you want it to besides shoot. And if you don't really care about shooting or think you can make it work without shooting, then it can literally do everything. <laughs> it can dribble, it can pass, it can literally dunk at will. I mean, I only have 92 driving dunk in this gameplay right here with gold posterizer. It goes to 99 eventually with Hall of Fame posterizer as well, which I will be grinding to try and get for you guys to see in gameplay and in footage because I cannot even imagine how, how awesome and dominant that would be. I didn't even mention it can rebound. It can still be a good screen setter. I only have bronze brick wall with like 38 strength in this video right here and it's good enough point guards can move really well in this game kitchen right here has a six foot two that has really good speed with ball he himself is a good point guard as well obviously is this a build for you that's up to you to decide if you have a good point guard that you run with i would absolutely say you can totally run this build i would love for you to do so if you don't run with good point guards and you yourself are a good slasher a skilled slasher who you think are is going to be able to actually time the dunk meter and stuff like that get yourself open dribble yourself open for contact dunks this is also a build for you that you would love and enjoy on 2v2 as long as you're paired up with a taller and you know sort of a lockdown spot up pretty much now if you're neither of these you're not a good slasher and you don't have a good point guard that you can run with it's probably not the build for you so i'm on the build right here i'm gonna just do this no cuts and just kind of get to you guys what i'm at right now if you want to check out the actual build itself and how i created it feel free to check out the video from a couple days ago now one thing i will mention is that i didn't know before doing this that you're actually able to get access to four extra badges through my career if anybody's curious how to do that you literally just play the college games out you have to win the entire tournament which means you have to win like five college games in a row which can be very difficult if you haven't upgraded your build if you did it's pretty cake to be completely honest with you but anyway i ended up going with extra four defensive badges so my build itself at default sort of like build creator so to say only gets 30 defensive badges but as you can see i have 34 right here now unlocked i have 17 i have 14 finishing seven playmaking total the build ends up getting 21 29 and 34 obviously 30 if you didn't end up going with the the extra four from the the college games and stuff like that here are the attributes that i have as a 91 overall now i didn't upgrade driving dunk all the way because it was taxing on my build like it was it was really really tough to actually get any of these other attributes filled out so i ended up deciding to just keep it at 92 for a period of time i had it at 84 me personally i ended up putting it at 84 from the beginning then i kind of upped it to 92 to be able to get the contact dunks the elite ones that is I ended up wanting 80 driving dunk because I just wanted to have all access to all layup packages and stuff like that. And I got to upgrade standing dunk. I wanted at least 80 ball handle and speed with ball because for sure I wanted to be able to at least lab some dribble moves out if nobody was on or anything like that. I'm not going to be upgrading pass accuracy until the very end of this build. I feel like that's just something I'm going to have to live with. And it kind of is what it is. It's kind of a luxury, so to say. And, you know, it, it, it is what it is, is what I'm getting at. Anyway. 63 interior defense with 80 block has been plenty enough for me to play really good interior defense get really good chase down blocks snatch blocks even at that and it's just been good enough that's how i'll put it and then as far as the perimeter defense goes i just recently upped this to 86 i was playing with literally 78 perimeter d at a 66 before i only had bronze clamps for most of the gameplays that i was doing some silver i finally got this to level i can have it on gold i think my next upgrade is also going to be perimeter d i'm probably just going to pump all into perimeter d and driving dunk for the next couple of upgrades and try and get the hall of fame posterizer because if you guys don't know you have to have 99 driving dunk to have it activated or to be able to equip it pretty much so long story short this is going to cost six badge points for anybody who doesn't know how it's going to work this costs six badge points to use 
and then limitless takeoff on hall of fame is going to cost five as you can see the gold itself costs three and then to add the hall of fame on costs two more points that would be five just like that you used up 11 badge points in two badges so for anybody who thought the build system was going to be super op it's been proven to not be that way pretty much as you can see slithery finisher costs six as well i just want to pretty much say this has been a dream 2k so far and i have not a problem at all with anything that i've done as far as gameplay goes and i love the build system i love everything about this game so far so anyway if you're somebody who's waiting on the green light from one of your favorite youtubers if that happens to be me a i appreciate it thank you very much <laughs> but uh also I just want to say, I 100% advocate for this game. They've been really quick with patching and fixing all types of errors and stuff like that and anything that's really hurting the community in any way. They've been on top of their game. This is this is prime 2K right now. This is 2K at its peak and they are firing on all cylinders and I love to see it, man. Um, one last thing that I want to talk about with takeovers, right? So, like I said, this combo for 3v3 is fire. I'm going to play around with some other things. I want to say that I'm going to play around with some lockdown takeovers when I'm guarding ball. I might even use this in stage, so to say. I, honestly, I really could keep doing what I'm doing in stage two. It, it doesn't depend on like what, what quality of defenders are guarding me or anything like that, I would like to think. And it's not like slash takeover is going to do anything other than just put the ball in my hands even more for ISO anyway. So... I just feel like glass takeover and play takeover it goes so well with that factor of the build that i'm talking about where i can grab a board kick it back out and use it myself or you know when i have the double takeover stuff like that then pff, do exactly what i'm talking about if i only have primary obviously i can just keep playing as a screen setting big and not do anything with it but here's what makes this really cool right so they have the takeover perks as well you unlock all of this through playing my career just to be very clear with you you unlock the mama mentality badge to be able to change these things and actually choose which one you want to put on you unlock the ability to choose like uh accelerator stay warm juice all type of stuff like that extender extender is the first one you get this one makes it take longer for your takeover to go away accelerator makes it happen quicker so pretty much you'll build up takeover progress more quickly i don't know how to get these yet i mean i don't even know what i'm saying it says right here how to get it you complete the state farm daily <laughs> daily stat challenges either way i'll end up getting this stuff eventually these ones over here look kind of garbage i'm not gonna lie to you like with this you have to you have to be guarding them closely quote unquote as it says right there again closely guarded for minimizer i think uh one of these was pretty solid yeah it was this one this one sounds okay but to be fair as far as i know again this might mean that you have to be guarding them closely and like it i just these are very vague it's a lot of bs and i think these green ones are going to be the ones that you really want to use i mean accelerator and extender seem to be the best ones and then sponge would be really good for a spot up or a role player pretty much when a teammate performs an action to increase the takeover meter you get a small boost to your own i'll make a video ranking these as well i think ranking ranking the perks is going to be super fire uh, man i am ecstatic at this game and all the innovations that they added and all the cool ideas that they factor in and the fact that it's all working and the fact that the my player builder is good and that the gameplay is good it's so refreshing and so relieving as well that i know that i'm most likely going to have another good 365 days of enjoying the game and enjoying making content and stuff like that man i couldn't be happier with this stuff anyway that is all for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, for to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the noties, all that good stuff. Let's try and get this one to a thousand likes. And if you made it to the end of the video, put little big man in the comments to show your support all the way through. I know it's a long comment to be putting, but just show your support that you made it all the way through on this one because little big man is a dominant, dominant force out here, man. <laughs> if you don't want to be typing all that, just put LB, I guess. But anyway, that's all for the video. Hope you all enjoyed. And other than that, Stay tuned for more gameplays and more just videos and all types of stuff like that. But you get the deal. Take it easy, man. Peace.